One of my favorite movies is The Karate Kid. In a classic scene, Mr. Miyagi asks Daniel if Daniel wants to learn karate, and Daniel says, I guess so. Mr. Miyagi responds by saying, if you walk on a road, if you walk on the left side, you're safe. Walk on the right side, you're safe. But if you walk in the middle, squish, just like grape. He then says, you karate, same thing. Either you karate do yes, or karate do no. You karate do guess so, you'll get squished, just like grape. Sometimes in my life, I've had a guess so, or an I'll try attitude. But this message from Mr. Miyagi reminds me that in life, we need to commit, and we need to act. That's a theme I've noticed in the Doctrine and Covenants over and over again. Did you see this pattern that appears in successive sections of the Doctrine and Covenants? He that receiveth my law and doeth it, the same is my disciple. Hear and obey the law which I shall give unto you. I give unto you a commandment that ye may know how to act. Over and over again, the Lord is prompting us to do something. In fact, the Lord has said that when we meet together as members of the church, we should make resolves of the things we will do, actions we will take. In fact, the Lord said, ye shall bind yourselves to act in all holiness before me. Does that describe our attitude when we attend church meetings? Are we committed to hearing the Lord's message to us and then acting on it? President Russell M. Nelson shared an experience where he was in a church meeting, and President Spencer W. Kimball invited those present to learn how to speak Chinese and to pray for the Chinese people. After the meeting, President Nelson didn't say, I guess I could try. He did it. That same day, he talked to his wife, and the two of them began to start taking private Chinese lessons. President Nelson recounted how just a few weeks after this experience, he was at a convention for surgeons. And while he was there, he was prompted to move to a different place in the room, and he found himself sitting next to a Chinese doctor. One thing led to another. President Nelson invited the Chinese doctor to come and work with him, and then President Nelson had the opportunity to go to China. President Nelson was even invited to fly to China to save the life of a celebrated opera star. So many things came in his life because he acted on the message and prompting that he had received. President Nelson said, it is my testimony that when we follow through with whatever the prophet of God asks us to do, the way will be opened and lives will be changed. I love how President Nelson not only attended his meetings, but he was committed to act on what he learned. Of course, we won't always be perfect, but the Lord isn't looking for perfection. He's looking for intention. As you and I have opportunities to attend Sunday school, young men's, young women's, Relief Society, priesthood, and other meetings, Even in our personal prayers and in our scripture study, we can remember these words from the Lord, bind yourselves to act in all holiness before me.